Getting the SOFAR Trident ROV was very exciting for us here at WCS Mozambique. So this is your, your, your first test about your fairy toy. Exactly. Okay. Wow, the first dive. <laughs> this really was an important add-on to our toolbox. Stabilize. Stabilize and it stays there. Uh -huh. Nice, eh? So after this quick test drive in the swimming pool, we were quite excited to finally go into the ocean for the first dive. Uh -huh. Go. We're about to, to go first dive with the Trident so far ROV here. We have a nice shallow uh, bombing from bummy we're gonna go explore. Lights. Lights are working. All right, we've got all systems operational, video is recording. We're going now for the first dive. The so far Trident is so easy and quick to deploy. Even the piloting, it could be done by almost anyone. As we went in for the first dive, our reaction was, wow, the image is so crisp, crystal clear HD and the colors, they're just popping out of the screen. Watching all this marine life in vibrant color was amazing to us. It was almost as being down there. So the ROV Trident is a pretty lightweight, which is great when it comes from traveling, but it also means that it's um, somewhat sensitive to swell and current when the sea becomes strong. If the swell and current is moderate, that's perfectly fine, as we see here. Um, despite a bit of wave, the, the ROV is keeping quite stable. But we knew that could become a challenge if we'd ever want to go deeper, as in deeper water and especially along walls and drop-off, uh, currents can be ripping. But we were determined to try anyway. In the meantime, we really enjoyed to see how curious some of the fish were. And this means the tool will become very handy because um, in some instances it is easier to, to spot certain fishes uh, without divers actually being in the water and disturbing. Here we are offshore of Pemba. We're going to deploy the ROV here with our colleagues from Unilurio. Capacity building on the ROV technologies. Weather is good, we're going for a deep dive. We're getting ready for the deep dive. Okay, ready to dive, system check. Good.
We then took the ROV a bit deeper, to about 15 meters, to see how it behaved. And despite a bit darker image, uh, the color was still popping and the RV is still very stable. So we decided to explore a bit of this uh, part of the coral reef plateau. And again, even larger fish were super curious about the ROV, schooling and storming around. We were getting great shots, that was amazing. And now we were sure this ROV could uh, really help out to explore places we haven't been, places we don't find safe, uh, for diving right away or for gaining time you know we can have a quick look um, before we deploy scuba divers it can be very practical we were just so happy to, to see this amount of fish which by the way uh, we haven't been seeing very frequently in years of diving at the same spots Seeing this fish in these numbers at this place was really made easy by the ROV. This ROV would also allow us to go and explore deeper sites where diving isn't really recommended or where bottom time is very limited. So here we took the ROV along the wall and went deeper and deeper. At about 38 meters uh, we started seeing the deep water reef communities with these giant gorgonians or sea fans. But that's also where the challenge started. Uh, as we were saying, at around 40 meters, the current was pumping along that wall and maneuvering, uh, staying in place became a bit tricky. Nonetheless, we kept pushing a bit deeper and we reached about 54 meters. Again, stability was a challenge, but we were happy to see there's still uh, quite some life down there. Some very curious fish uh, popping up right next to the camera lens. All in all, this is a great piece of equipment for marine science and conservation, which we truly recommend.